and this video is going to be my December TBR. So you guys, I know I'm kind of late with the TBR. It's already like almost just about mid-month and I'm just now doing this. But I have a very good excuse. We had a case of the flu that went through my house. And um, yeah, I'm not very happy about that. Um, first of all, I got, I got sick first. Not with the flu though. I really don't know what it was. I think it's because I ate something and it just, I was not, my stomach was just not very happy and it was no fun. And then my fiance ended up getting it and then, no, oh, he got sick. I don't know what he had. It was like a mystery illness and then Kalea got sick and at first we just thought it was like a cold and then it started getting worse. So then we had to bring her to the doctor and then we find out she has, the, she has the flu and two ear infections. So she had an ear infection in both ears. And it was, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. And then I started to feel bad again. I was like, no, no. <laughs> Cause did not just give me the flu. I know I don't have the flu. I don't know what it was, but I feel a whole lot better now. And I actually feel like recording. And the sun has gone down. It's like 5 o'clock. So I'm sorry if the video looks yellowy, but I just didn't want to wait till tomorrow. I feel like recording right now because I'm already late doing it. And I'm just... I feel like doing a video, guys. And I'm very much in the Christmas spirit. If you wonder where I got my glasses, I got them from Claire's. If you guys want to go, if you have a Claire's in your area and you want to, like, check it out, I got mine from Claire's. And they have a lot of, like, really amazing, like, christmas themed theme stuff. Oh, and I started working again, so that's another reason why I haven't posted a video in, like, two weeks. So, in case you guys are wondering, and these, I'm going to wear these to work and bring all of my customers, like, Christmas cheer. And, um, usually, because I started doing this last year, I will film in front of my Christmas tree. I am very much filled with the Christmas spirit, but we haven't put the Christmas tree up yet. That's probably going to go down tonight or tomorrow, but it's got to go down sometime before Christmas. Because last year we did the exact same thing. We waited until, like, the week of Christmas to put up the Christmas tree. Then Kalea came early, and so the Christmas tree was up to, like, after Valentine's Day. <laughs> So that's probably going to happen again, but we have to put it up since it's like our first real Christmas. But, um, yeah, let's get to the video that you guys came here to see, and I'm going to stop my rambling. So for my December TBR, it may or may not be ambitious because I haven't been reading that much this month because, like I said, we got sick. And it's just kind of been, like, a reading has, like, took a back burn. But, um, there are seven books that I want to read this month, and, and, well, I'm going to say eight, but seven are on my December TBR. One of them is just something that I was still reading from last month, and I didn't finish. Um, but the first book that I want to read this month, that I actually did read already, and it was a short story, and that is, it's, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a short story, and it's called A Christmas Gift by Stella Wilkinson. I gave it three out of five stars. This was a young adult romance, and you guys know it's usually, um, typically not the genre that I pick up, because I just, you guys know I don't do young adult romance. Like, I, I do new adult and, like, adult romance. I do erotica, but not young adult romance, because it is, I feel like it's too, it's too, like, like, um, what's the word I use for it? <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, it's too, like, mushy, you know? And I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars because I liked it, but at the same time, it was cute. But just why I don't read young adult romance, it was cute, but it was very cheesy. And it was predictable. It was a short story, so it wasn't that long, but it was cheesy. And it was predictable, but it was cute, which is why I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. It is about these two teenagers I think her name is Holly I can't remember what his name is but they grew up living right across the street from each other they was best friends until they got into like their teenage years and it's like he went his separate way with the cool kids and she just kind of like stayed herself and so she wasn't part of this cool crowd so he couldn't really hang out with her anymore and it shows how he ends up coming to ask her to find a Christmas gift for his girlfriend um, I think they're 16, and he goes and he asks her to help her find a Christmas gift for his girlfriend because she works at a department store, and she agrees, and it's supposed to be how, um, things blossom and how they never expected these things to happen just from her helping him to find a Christmas gift, so even the synopsis of this stuff kind of tells you what's going to happen, we know, oh my god, we know what's going to happen, I'm not going to tell you, but... It's pretty much there. The second book that I want to read, and it's a book that I'm currently reading, is called Alalira by Chantel Godori. <laughs> and 
And um, this is the book that I actually received from the author. She emailed me like a couple months ago, like either two or three months. I don't want you guys thinking a couple months, but damn, Kelly, you just not reading it. No, it was like two months ago. I want to say it was in October sometime when she actually emailed me and asked me if I wanted, if I would like to do a review of one of her books. And I did chose choose I did choose this one because it sounded really interesting. But I waited until this month because it really sounded like a wintry kind of read. And I was like, that would be perfect to read in December around Christmas time during the winter time and this is actually a retelling of the original um grim fairy tale which i never heard of this until this book so i don't know how it goes but it sounds really amazing it's about this girl named um aurelia i think is her name i could be saying it wrong but i don't know so i'm just gonna say it's aurelia and her mother dies and Aurelia has really like golden hair like not blonde like gold hair just like her mother and when her mother died she made a request of her father that he could remarry but only with a woman with golden hair like hers she makes some promises on her death break with her last dying breath and for the, he agreed and for the longest he looked and he looked and he couldn't find anyone and then he noticed he started to notice his daughter as she grew up that she has golden hair just like her mother and he decides that he wants to marry her his daughter to marry her and not just to marry her to satisfy the kingdom no he wants he needs a son so he can have an heir to a throne and that is why he's rushing trying to find a queen because he doesn't have a son so that means this is really gross he wants to marry his daughter and have sex with her and impregnate her and it's like all the incest is just like you're kidding me right so when she realizes that this is his intentions she tries to throw him off by requesting these like impossible gifts like she wants a dress made by the sun and she wants um a, a coat made from a thousand furs like giving him impossible things that the, it's the only way he marries her but when he actually like gets this shit is like it, it sets her off as like the it's like, are you kidding me? And so she runs away to another kingdom under an aliases. Like, um, she changes her name to Aurel. I mean, la la. She changes her name to Alilera, and all she has is this coat of a thousand furs. So she tries to hide from the men of her father's court um, while falling in love with this other prince, Klaus, of this kingdom that she's in, that he's allowing her to stay in, and she starts to like fall in love with him. Even though he's promised to marry another princess in a neighboring town. And that's what this book is about. And I thought that just sounded so amazing. And I'm like, yeah, I have to read this. Because first of all, it's fucking gross that you want to marry a daughter. And like reading it, I'm like, what is his problem? Like, so disgusting. Like, what is his issue? So, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I love it. Um, I think I'm 12% into it. And I'm just like really enjoying this book. And I can't wait to see like how this goes. And how this story like works itself out. Because this is crazy. And I'm so, I can't believe I never heard of like the original fairy tale. So, I mean, after reading this though, I think I'm going to have to look up that original fairy tale. Because I'm like, who in the hell came up with that? Then the third book that I want to read this one is King's Cage by Victoria AVR. And I want to read this because next year the fourth book is coming out, um... War War Storm. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. It's coming out next year, and so I need to read this and get it out of the way and hand it off to my fiance so that I can read, so that we can start to read the next book that when it comes out. And um, he's already fussing at me because this took me way too long to read this. I started and I stopped. I started a whole bunch of stuff. I never went back to it. So this might is my time to read this before the next book comes out. And this is the third book in the Red Queen series. If you guys have not heard of it. You guys need to get on it because this is like my favorite series and you got, well, one of my favorite series, but it's like at the top of the list. So you guys need to definitely go and read, um, Ray Queen if you haven't heard of it. I don't know where you've been. Go and read that because I really, really love that and that's all I'm going to say about this. Then the fourth book that I want to read this month is Frost Like Night by Sarah Rosh and this is the last book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy which I have like neglected to read as well and I really need to finish this trilogy and I just I told you guys like I'm ready for it to end but it's like I'm just like pushing it like to the back like I, I just I don't know like I want to finish this book like I want the series to be you know done when I'm ready to end it but at the same time it's just like so much like went on in the last book I'm just kind of afraid to see where this book is gonna go if that makes sense and um 
I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm behind time. But this is also a book I need to finish because Sarah Rosh is coming out with another series. And that's coming out, I think it's a um, pirate kind of series. And that's also coming out next year. So I want to be done with this series before I jump into her next series. If that makes sense with you guys. And I want to make a video for the books that I'm excited for coming out with next year that are coming out. Because there are a couple that I'm very excited for. And, um, yeah, I just, I need to finish this trilogy. If you guys have, like, finished, like, the Snow Like Ashes trilogies, can you guys just, like, tell me, I mean, I don't want you to spoil me, but tell me what your thoughts was on the whole series as a whole. Like, did it finish off as you expected or not expected? Like, did you like the way it finished or it could have been better? Just so I can kind of put my expectations in the right place. Because I'm a little nervous, a little nervous to read this one. Then the fifth book I want to read is Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella. And this is a book that I got from NetGalley, but I also like got email from like the publishing company about um, actually going and get it off of NetGalley. Because I um, did a re I, I actually got my Not So Perfect Life from NetGalley that I love so much because that was really a good book. And this doesn't come out until February 13th. But I want to read that this month. Because you guys know how I get backed up on my net gallery review. So I want to read that now and get it out of the way. Even though it doesn't come out until February. Because I think this is a good time to actually read that right now. Instead of waiting until the month before. Because I kind of have an agenda in my mind for January about what I want to read. So like the type of book that I want to read in January. So I want to read this now and get that out of the way now. And this is basically about this like perfect married couple. Sylvie and Dan is like they like a perfect like they finish each other's sentences and everything is amazing and I think they like you know their doctors tell them they have like their perfect help so they have years of being together and then that kind of freaks them out because now it's like the debt do me part stuff is like for real for real because you know y'all are a perfect help there's nothing that's gonna be shortening your sentences and it's freaks them out because then they realize you know, what the hell are we going to do with each other for the rest of our lives? You know, we're kind of boring. So they start this thing called Project Surprise Me where they are promising to, like, do surprises for each other that are going to kind of liven up their, like, married life and make it more interesting. But while they're doing the Project Surprise Me, you know, nothing goes as planned ever. So, you know, mishaps start to happen and secrets are, like, uncovered that they have been keeping from each other. And I was, like, threatening their, like, perfect married life that they had like this perfect persona and we're going to really see that's going to make them or break them and my personal experience like my personal opinion I think like you actually like telling your secrets and getting them out like you know drama in a relationship is normal so if you're in this perfect relationship and nothing bad ever happens that's not really a relationship that's going to last so I think it might actually make their relationship instead of breaking it and then the next book that I want to read is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. And this book has been sitting on myself since it came out. Like, I pre-ordered this book because I heard that the black pages were, like, limited edition. And so they weren't going to be out long. So I wanted to, I, I pre-ordered it and never read it. Now, my reason for not reading this was because I did want to read the Shadow and Bone series first. Because even though people say that it's not mandatory for you to read that it's still good because you get to actually get into the world of the Grisha world and you like understand the world itself what's going on and that's what I wanted I didn't want to just be dropped into this world and kind of learn as I go I kind of wanted to already be familiar with the world and the ways of the world and then get into this but to be honest I really don't know if I can really wait anymore but now I just I don't know I don't really feel like I want to wait I think I'm going to just make this book last and if I get to it then that means that it's time for me to read it and you know it's meant for me to read it now and if I don't get to it then that means it's meant for me to read the Grisha Trilogy first before I read this book but if you guys don't know this I, I, I don't know anybody that doesn't know about them Six of Crows because it's like it has been all over like this is literally like a lot of people favorites but I'm glad that I have seen some reviews that people have not liked it because I get nervous if I see a book that has all good reviews and I never hear anything bad about it that makes me nervous. That really makes me nervous. So I'm, I am glad that I have seen a couple reviews of people that have not liked it. So that makes me kind of easier because it's normal. And um, this book is really about a heist crew. It's a heist, you know, adventure kind of YA book. It's about these six individuals that are hired to do this big job that can win, that can get a lot of money from doing this job. 
but they have to survive each other first. So, I mean, it's a lot. It's six badass people that are capable of killing each other. And you know that six different personalities going on. So you guys just think about that. And um, either they're going to do the job and get the money, or they're going to kill each other. And no one's going to get the money. Or somebody might just run off with all the money by themselves. So, we'll see. I'm excited because I love, like... Like high adventure books that like keep your like action packed books that keep your heart pounding. I love books like that. I do. Cause that really makes it go by like like really quick and it keeps you engaged. And the last book that is on my TBR for December is Miss Kane's Christmas by Caroline Mickelson. And this is book one in a Christmas Central series or a trilogy. I don't know how many books they have, but it's book one. And this book is about Santa Claus's daughter. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very Christmassy. Her name is Carol Claus, and she agrees with her father to leave the North Pole to actually go under this alias as Miss Kane is a nanny for this guy. I don't remember his name, but she's gonna be a nanny for his family. And the reason why is because he is the author of this book of why you shouldn't lie to your children about Santa Claus not being real. And she is supposed to try to show him how fun Christmas can be and try to make him believe in her father that to make him believe that he is real. And this is supposed to be like a save the Christmas kind of thing. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm a little nervous. It, it is a chit lit uh, fantasy kind of book. So I'm going to see how this goes. I Actually, the books that I have read that is considered chit lit has been really good. <laughs> So, um, I'm kind of really drifting toward Chitlet now. Like, I really think it's a fun genre. It's really amazing. Like, they are really good books. Like, and they really do, like, make me laugh. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous just because of the whole idea of it being, like, Santa Claus's daughter. I'm a little nervous about that. But this, reading the synopsis reminded me of something that'll probably be on, like, the Hallmark channel. Because they do, like, these movies like this. Like, these, like, uh, like, really cutesy kind of movies like that. So, we'll see how I like it. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it. So, my December TBR may or may not be ambitious. Um... I don't know. I think I may be able to do it, but to be honest, I don't think I am going to read all of these books, especially seeing where we are at in the month and all of the books that I have that I want to read. I don't know. We might. We might. If I kick it in a high gear, we may be able to do something. Oh, I did say I have one book that I um, dragged over from last month. Oh, and that is um, A Day to Remember, which is an Alzheimer's Awareness novel by Gretchen Nielsen um, is, is, is Azaki. I don't know how to say your last name, so we just put it up. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. And this is the book I'm carrying over from last month. I didn't finish last month, but I did start reading it. So start reading some books on my December TBR. But I am keep going back to it, back and forth to read some from it every now and then. Because I don't want it to just fall in the back of the pages. And it's not that it's a bad book and I'm taking long to read it because of that. It's a, actually a really nice novel. I'm enjoying it. It's just the fact that... I kind of put it on hold to start reading some books off of my December TBR to try to get through most of my December TBR. And I didn't want to wait all month. So, yeah. That is the book that I'm dragging over from last month. And I'm definitely going to finish that before the new year. It's up. So, yeah. That's my December TBR. If you guys follow me on Goodreads, you've probably already seen it already. Because I did, you know, make like a, um, a list for my December TBR. So you've probably seen the books on there already. If you pay attention like that, you might not. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. That is my December TBR. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what books you guys are planning on reading this month or have read already this month. I really would like to know. And yeah, so that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!